In this video, we are going to delve into the lore behind some of the most beautiful, compelling, and lore-rich weapon in the Star Wars universe, the lightsaber. We'll talk about some of the popular lightsaber colors seen in the films, as well as some exotic colors that appear more rarely in the expanded universe or Legends canon. No weapon or object in the Star Wars universe is quite as iconic and instantly recognizable as the lightsaber. The traditional weapon of the Jedi Order, the lightsaber was created by George Lucas to lend his space story a rackish swashbuckling feel. He took inspiration from the Lord of the Rings saga by J.R.R. Tolkien, taking a similar anti-technology and anti-industrialization stance as his Hobbit writing predecessor. In that vein, Lucas didn't want his main hero to carry a gun, the violent weapon of a high-technology world. Instead, he created the lightsaber an elegant and versatile laser sword capable of both attack and defense, and gave it an incredibly iconic sound effect as it is drawn, as it hums in use, as it snaps and crackles when clashing against another lightsaber's blade. But just as iconic as the sound of the lightsaber is the visual impact, and that is what we are here to discuss today as we take a look at lightsaber colors and what they mean. A brief note for hardcore saber nerds. Before we dive into discussing lightsaber colors, it is important to note that the background, explanation and rules for lightsaber colors have been revisited, revised and rewritten completely several times in canonical Star Wars material. For this video, we are working under the rule that the most recent on-screen lore takes precedence and that anything not explicitly covered in the official Disney canon can then be explained using lore from older expanded Legends universe, which includes many of the comics, video games and Jedi-based novels that created many of the less common saber colors. Standard Saber Colors of the Film Saga The lightsabers of the Jedi come in two colors during the original film trilogy, blue and green. The blue lightsaber is often described as the most common color, though it should be noted that even the most popular lightsaber is still a very rare and exotic weapon to most people in the galaxy. Blue lightsabers were first described in the Knights of the Old Republic video games as the weapon of the Jedi Guardians, or Jedi who specialize in lightsaber techniques and combat force use. The Jedi Guardians did not pursue warfare or violence exclusively. They were still committed to the same peaceful Jedi code as the rest of the Order. They simply spent more training time in the saber fencing ring or target training course than they did in classroom study or quiet meditation. The green lightsaber was, according to the KOTOR canon, the weapon of the Jedi counselors, Jedi who specialized in force techniques and the peaceful pursuit of knowledge and understanding. It should be noted that all Jedi were trained as warriors and proficient in lightsaber use. Jedi counselors simply focused more on using force techniques, such as persuasion, illusion, or telekinesis when they were called upon to fight. Following the tradition set down in the KOTOR, a reasonable theory holds that Luke built himself a green lightsaber before Return of the Jedi in order to distance himself from the violent warrior path of his former Jedi guardian father, Anakin Skywalker, hero of the Clone Wars. If we look at Luke's way of dressing, moving and speaking in Return of the Jedi and afterward, he is much more controlled and restrained, resembling the dignified old man Obi-Wan far more than the rakish cowboy Han, which certainly supports the theory that he has chosen to embrace a more mature and meditative path than his rash youth. The villain lightsabers have always been red, the signature color of the Sith. The most dramatic and interesting explanation for this consistency comes from the comic universe, in which a dark Sith technique known as bleeding is used to poison a pure kyber crystal, soaking it completely in the Sith trainee's hatred and negative emotions and staining the crystal blood red from the trauma. Red is the color of blood, the color of flame, and a caution sign in both nature and almost every civilized society. It makes perfect sense for a dramatic villainous cult like the Sith Order to adopt this color and wield it with panache. Exotic Colors the first non-standard lightsaber we saw in a major Star Wars film was the legendary purple lightsaber of Jedi Master Mace Windu, played by the incomparable badass Samuel L. Jackson. Now, commonly held fan lore states that the purple lightsaber was added as a concession to the persistent superstar actor who wanted his character to stand out during the large battle scenes in Episode 2 II and 3. But within the Star Wars universe, the purple lightsaber is an interesting and uncommon blade. Lore conflicts about the purple lightsaber, with one explanation making it the official weapon of the Grey Jedi, a faction of the Force Wielders who combine techniques of both the light and dark sides of the Force in their pursuit of absolute balance. Another explanation, a common one from the video games, which try to give players as many pretty colors as possible for character customization, is that the purple blade comes from a particularly rare variant of focusing crystal. One compelling theory suggests that the purple blade represents a Jedi who has been dabbed in the forbidden lore of the Sith, partially corrupting their naturally blue lightsaber crystal with a touch of Sith red to result in a unique purple blade. If such an explanation is considered when watching the prequels, that blade would be like a scarlet letter among the Jedi, marking its welder as a dangerous dabbler in dark things. 
It's probably a good thing. The Master Windu Sabre has the letters BMF engraved on the hilt. There are a few more Sabre colors seen on screen more than once that deserve a mention in this roundup. The yellow lightsaber was the iconic weapon of Old Republic hero Jedi Knight Bastilla Shan, a principal character in Knights of the Old Republic. In the KOTOR canon, which really dove deeper into explaining the nuts and bolts of Jedi training and traditions than most other Legends material, the yellow lightsaber is the weapon of the Jedi Sentinels, the least common of the three main Jedi specialities. Jedi Sentinels heavily favored skills and abilities that were not related to the Force at all, including technology, piloting, medicine, and engineering, among others. Yellow lightsabers are also seen on screen in the animated Clone Wars and Rebel series in the hands of Jedi Temple Guardians, specially trained and extremely dedicated warriors who tragically failed in their only mission, protecting the Jedi Temple on Curasant. Another compelling lightsaber color that we see in several of the animated and live-action television series is the pure white of Ahsoka Tano's blades. Ahsoka has a good reason for the unique colorless weapons. She used the Force ritual to purge herself and her kyber crystals of all attachments, specifically her attachment to the Jedi Order and its traditions. The white blades do not necessarily mean Ahsoka is virtuous or pure. They merely represent her completely unaligned and disconnected status as a freelance Force wielder after leaving the Jedi Order. But the most interesting exotic lightsaber in Star Wars has to be the menacing Mandalorian Darksaber, a wicked beam weapon with a black blade that crackles with silvery energy. While it resembles the classic lightsaber design, the Darksaber has a shaped and tapered blade that looks far more like a traditional metal sword than the cylindrical beam of the lightsaber. Fan lore holds that this is due to the exotic Mandalorian techniques used to craft the weapon's hilt, which line the focusing chamber with Bascara, baffles that allow greater control over the energy blade shape than a traditional lightsaber. In addition to looking incredibly cool and being an excellent weapon for battling Jedi and Sith, the Darksaber is also the hereditary weapon of the royalty of planet Mandalore, and winning it in battle grants its welder the right to rule over all Mandalorians. From what we've seen in the show with the same name, having even a handful of Mandalorian warriors at your side is a far more powerful weapon than any energy sword. Extra Exotic Colors, Legend and Expanded Universe Before we go, I did want to touch on a few even more exotic lightsaber colors, which only appear in now decanonized material from the comics, novels, and video games that came before the Disney canon was established. One of the most interesting exotic lightsabers was crafted by the Force Savant, Kip Darun, during the Jedi Academy novels. He used multiple Caressa gems in his hilt to create a blade with variable length, and the exotic setup also gave his weapon a unique coruscating rainbow effect, with different colors pulsing through the silvery blade. Like many fancy custom lightsabers, the curasating blade failed its wielder and was destroyed by an enemy, perhaps due to its overcomplicated design. Sometimes you just don't mess with a classic. Another rare lightsaber was the pink Sith blade, wielded by Mera Jade, the force talented Imperial agent known as the Emperor's Hand. In the Legends canon, Jade met Luke Skywalker as a zealous assassin trying to kill him, but the two grew to find a grudging mutual respect and later love and romance. In some of the comics, Mera welded a pink lightsaber throughout her time as a reformed and fully trained Jedi Knight. One more fancy lightsaber from the novels was the turquoise blade of Tenel Ka, a witch of Dathomir who crafted a weapon using crystals that were said to be worth the price of a star cruiser each, set into a hilt made of Rancor Fang. This one takes the prize, the flashiest big baller weapon of the Star Wars universe and the only thing that could make it even cooler would be Master Windu carving BMF on the hilt. There are many other minor lightsaber colors that show up in Star Wars, especially in the games, which, as we mentioned earlier, love to give the player a whole bunch of fancy dress-up options. We have seen blades of silver, indigo, ultraviolet, orange, teal, and more. Whether your crystal gets its color by being an exotic gem from your speciality as a Jedi, or from the way it catches the light the first time you hold it up and touch it with the Force, your lightsaber can be as unique as you are. We could talk about lightsaber lore all night, but somebody's got to feed the Rancor. As always, may the Force be with you.